For slating, this is the Eclipse uh, as viewed from Central Park, New York. This is Racy's Crew, Glubach, Prosha. Roll one. Roll one. You mean that you will have to see an eclipse on no. the no. Well, no, nothing. sitting in the right direction so you can't see the sun very comfortably anyway and as Jeff said it's the way to look at this event when it does begin at 3.32 what time do we have? 3.27 in just a few minutes from now is to use the two sheets that are supplied to you you do not look through the pinhole but you hold it so that the sun will shine through the pinhole and the image of the sun will be produced on the white sheet. And the image is very small, it's only about an eighth of an inch across, so if you do get an eighth of an inch image of the sun, it's working. Don't think that you should get something larger. What happens here is that the pinhole serves as a lens, a sort of a pinhole camera idea, and uh, reproduces the image of the sun. This is completely safe. Uh, during, a, during the eclipse itself, don't expect anything cataclysmic to happen. I'll tell you that uh, in the ancient days, when eclipses occurred, people believed that something terrible was happening. The sun was, after all, the giver of life. It was, it was the object that made crops grow and provided all the good things. And people were very apprehensive because when they saw the sun gradually being covered by the moon, they didn't understand the phenomenon, they didn't know what was happening, and thought perhaps there was some kind of a... ...the dragon that was eating the sun. It worked beautifully because the sun came down without sail. According to one of the legends, uh, some of us will be interested to see, I don't expect I will, is in the year 2024, and that's on April the 8th, and it's long. That is seven minutes of, of totality, which is an extremely long period of time. The longest that an eclipse can possibly be is, uh, uh, those places I'm sure are loaded with all kinds of traffic right now, people getting ready to view the eclipse. One of the fellows, he belongs to a trailer club, and believe it or not, he was at the head of 32 of these things. Imagine passing them on the highway, going up to uh, the gas station, and it won't work correctly, and it really does work. Uh, it's nothing like seeing a total eclipse of the sun. This is what the Mercury and the sun. It's pretty exciting thing to do. Who's that sound man? I mean, sound girl. Channel 4. Dr. Brandy told you, you should only use a direct viewer with expert advice. This is a special film. The time approaching 3.32. Do you want to look through this to see the actual stuff? Uh, I have a viewer here, I guess Jeff was telling you, uh, I can look directly at the uh, sun because I'm an astronomer. Uh, <laughs> but actually, uh, this is a very dense piece of film and I can just see the image of the sun. So don't do what I'm doing. But I'm simply doing this in order to let you know that it has, uh, has started. And it's 3.32. And you can see a tiny little uh, beginning of a niche taken out of the sun. And it'll not be noticeable on your, on your uh, projected image because the, uh, the amount taken out is so very small that the imperfections in the pinhole through, uh, in your paper are greater than the amount of change in the image of the sun. 
so you'll not be able to see it yet on your projected image. Don't expect to see it, and if you don't see it, don't worry. There's the... Consented to ask, answer any questions during this event that you may want to ask. Now, obviously, it would be very inconvenient for people to shout out questions. But again, don't look at it directly, only with your back to the sun. p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It will reach its maximum, 42, 11.9. Channel 7, the New York Times, the Star Ledger of Newark. Channel 9, WPIX. And raise your hands if the answer is affirmative. It's one of pro and con, even among scientists. And starting on Wednesday, for three Wednesday evenings, from 7.30 to 9 p.m., the Hayden Planetarium will have... What about this? Uh, you're not supposed to have your tape recorder at the same time? Really? Yes, the film You might observe this young man here with the red. Which examines the question we ask, is there intelligent life? Well, the sun is losing a part of its shape there, you see? It's only half You have to hold it up quite a way. There it is. This is how big do you want it? Well, the further where you put it, the bigger it gets. Yeah, but it can only get so big, though, because. You know, it gets kind of blurred, yeah. It isn't very good. It's the best they had, I guess. You see, now, if you look at that, you can see it. Around the edge there. Uh, let me ask you a question. You notice the edge there? Yeah. No, thank you. I don't. I, don't, I can't eat. I got a. I got a bridge and it comes out. You notice? You notice around the edge there? Yeah, I have, my teeth are falling out. <laughs> you, you see that? You see it there? That's taking place. Yeah, it's taking place. You see on the right hand side there? You see the, you see the little bite there? It looks like somebody bit a piece out of the sun. Well, that's it. That's what they're trying to show you. See, it isn't very clear because it's flying around, but you see it, don't you? Yes, it's Yeah, you see that? One time. One time. Does anybody know how many light years? In other words, if you travel... No. Two tons. Two tons. Three or four tons. The answer is, at a neutron star, the density is so great that one cubic inch would be a hundred million tons. You'll see the sky exactly as it is at any time in history from any point on the globe. So actually you can see stars better in the planet. A direct view such as the one I used. Well, this was uh, exposed and developed especially to a dangerously eye damaged or blinded two years ago by not observing these precautionary measures. And it's irreversible. It's a burn on the retina of the eye. If you look at the image indirectly, you're safe. I'm merely saying do not look at it directly.